What's going on y'all? Welcome to another video. Today I am out fishing again with my good friend Aaron and his wife Bruna and we're fishing some big mullet trying to catch some monster snook as well as some monster jacks. Really anything that's going to eat a bait this big I'm highly interested in. So I'm just going to take this guy and I'm just going to flip him right under the stock that we just pulled up. Fingers crossed something eats that thing. It's going to be a monster. The other goal for today, which is what I did not accomplish last trip, is to catch a big Jack Crevel on a topwater plug. This is a Yozuri pencil popper, like an eight inch plug. And what I've noticed with these big Jack Crevels out here in the river is they really key in on giant mullet. So that's why I'm throwing this really big popper that, you know, guys use for stripers up north and stuff like that. So stay tuned throughout the video. I think we're gonna catch a nice one on it today. fish are hungry today. Oh! oh I'm going in. Go in, go in, go in. Loosen up, loosen up. Just way. loosen the drag, just loosen the drag as late as it'll go. All right, you're good. Okay, I'm recording. That snook <laughs> just hauled around the dock, so Aaron Dad, had to hop in. Absolutely. Uh, Aaron, shut the trolley motor off. Oh my god, is he gonna have to go diving? Oh no, there was a reel. Yeah, that reel is uh, underwater. Again, another piling? This man is on a mission. Dude, I mean, so jacks don't normally do that. That's like a snook type of thing to do, to just keep snaking. Here, get back in, you have to kill the motor. Hold on, I'll jump in. Here, it was so big, dude, it was so big. I got an eye on it, but I couldn't see what it was, it just like, oh. Jumped off the boat, what happened? <laughs> so, I had to swim for that fish, because immediately it darted straight through the pilings, and when I went, in, I assumed it was gonna keep beelining towards the second dock, but it actually went up the dock that we were fishing initially. And it didn't just go up the dock. If you look at these pilings, they have those X's in the middle. And what he did was go underneath like four of those. And I was able to dunk my rod and get under like two, but at the end, I think I broke my own line. When I went to dip it, I think I just hit the edge of an oyster perfectly and it just it broke. We're gonna have to uh, perform some uh, maintenance on that uh, Daiwa there. That yeah, boy went swimming. That is just the nature of dock fishing. A lot of the times you're gonna hook a fish in a bad place and you're gonna have to make a split second decision like Aaron just did. All right, I gotta hop in. I gotta try and get my line off of this piling because if that braid's on that piling under tension, it's gonna break. It's inevitable. That's just what happens. So you have to get yourself in a position where you're not putting tension on the line while it's wrapped around a barnacle-y or barnacle-y piling. The odds aren't ever great, but you gotta give it a shot. You gotta do everything you can to try and land these big, you know, trophy fish. I have a lock drag right now. Sam. Oh, he didn't get it. Popped it hard though. They're stacked, dude. They're stacked. Mine is just swimming out. They're stacked. Right. Over here. They're stacked right now. My mullet got popped really hard. He's still underneath it. And cast him back up under there. Drop your rod tip real quick. God, she's on a giant. She's on a pull, giant. pull, 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 pull. She's on a giant. You got a good one. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh my God, dude, she's on a giant. Let's go, you're good. Oh my God. You're good, you got him out, you got him out. Relax, 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 relax. Let him pull. Loosen up, loosen up, loosen up. You're good. Oh my God. <laughs> that was sick, Bruna. I just yanked That was so oh sick. Babe, Put your uh, rod tip down a little bit. There you go. Right. I'm back here, I'm back here. Woo, let's relax, go, relax, Bruna. Relax, relax. I need to relax, guys, it's not her. Watch the 
There we go. Nice fish. Open bail, open bail. Okay. Nice fish. Let's go. That's so strong. Being that small. Look at this fish, babe. What just happened? I casted about a 12 inch mullet right outside the dock right there. Mm -hmm. And this girl came out and inhaled it in one bite. Like, that was insane. And just started booking it towards the the dock again, I had to literally lean back on the rod, almost hit Ryan off the front of the boat, <laughs> and pulled her out. That was insane. That's so cool. She's pretty. That looks awesome. It's so awesome. Get her released so we can get some food. Beautiful, beautiful snug. Great job, man. Great, great job. Crushing it. Awesome. Woo. Good job. Way to keep her up. Yeah, I know. That was oh my, I was like, like I was like this. It was insane. You want a bigger mullet? Got the big mullet on that rod still. Ah. What did you say? What the hell are you saying? Break what? Oh. Wait, why am I using this rod? Because it already had a big mullet on it. Okay. The ones on the top of the screen, the brown with the light. Hang on, I just got eight. Did you? Or are you caught him? Oh yeah, you're on, bro. Oh, you're on. I see it. Oh, we got ourselves a little snook. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, we are on. Talking about girls' purses. <laughs> got us a cute little snook. We're gonna try and fight. Oh. Looks pretty sweet. Oh, there was someone home. You said there was going to be. Hello, like buddy. Come say hi to the fam in the boat. Ah! Just point that at me, please. You can tap the back of the screen. Oh, I see now. Don't do it to me. Just a cute, healthy little common snook. These darker river fish, but you know, they love eating mullet just like the big ones. I'll take anything that I can get. If it wants to pop a mullet, feel a little thumb action like that, it's awesome. Just gonna give him a quick little release. Well, we're on the board. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna go round two on this dock. This is actually the dock that Bruna caught a stud at, Aaron lost a stud at, and we had a couple more pops. So the fish should be calmed down a little bit from when we were here earlier. So we'll cast out some more baits onto this dock. Okay. It's not a very big fish. No. You can see his fin. Do I jump in? I think he'll come around. I think he'll come around. Okay. There you go. Yes. Cute little one. Is it foul hook? Might be. It feels so heavy, dude. It has mm, to be foul definitely hook. Definitely foul hook. The fish is only like 12 inches. Yeah, it's so foul. <laughs> Look at this, guys. We got a foul hook snook. And I'm like, this thing feels huge. Oh, oh he's lassoed, geez. dude. Wrapped up. Here, got the rods. Got her. He came up? No. no, no, no. She's just wrapped. How big is it? Aww. Oh man, she oh, got wrapped up. It's crazy that fish is eating that mullet though. You know what I mean, those small fish, they don't care. They'll try and eat it. Guys, this poor fish. Oh, It'll be alright. It'll be like fine. That? Yeah, it will be fine. But look, you can see where the line wrapped around her. Skinny little fish. Sorry if my GoPro has water spots. She absolutely soaked me. Hold him up for me. Yep. That's just where the line got, but that fish will be all right. We're going to get him back in the water. Let her go. If you guys like topwater blow ups as much as I do, make sure to thumbs up the video. It's going to help spread the video to more people and help the channel grow. mullet going out under the dock 6-0 Mewtwo light circle some 60 liter flip them back up in there oh that's a beautiful cast
Brian Mori. Oh, I'm not recording, dude. Not a big fish, but it ate a what giant is? mullet. Dude, that was <laughs> yeah, it's not bad at all. Oh, yeah, it's a snook. Yeah, sure. Not a bad snook at all. Picked up a dead bullet on the bottom. Now I got the TV drag on. Now that I got him away from the dock, I loosened up the drag a little bit. I was like, there's no way. We were sitting here for like, how long? <laughs> like 15 minutes. We're like, y'all, it's dead here. It ain't happening. Ryan just got hooked up. He's like, I just got picked up. I'm like, no way. We were sitting here for like, just said 10, 15 minutes. Oh my. It's actually a good snook. Yeah, it's not nice. bad at all. For sure. Look at that. Dude. He ate that? a big old mullet. Yeah, big. Did it actually? No, it came out. I saw it. Yeah, he, he spit the mullet up. The no, I mean, that's a that's probably a slop fish. It's probably a 28, 29 inch fish. He is chunky chunky. She's not happy with me right now, but that's okay because I do have that effect on women. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, just a pretty, pretty river fish choked that mullet we'll just get a quick little measure on her just to give you guys an idea oh no it's actually only around 26 really? there's a healthy fish i am just overestimating all my fish lately which is okay you know i've been out of the snook game for a little bit but no, super dude, stoked a lot. It looked big. It's a fat <laughs> little fish. yeah i mean it ate like a you know 11 12 inch mullet choked it but let's get this hook out of her get her back in the water and get her released it, you know, for the, the fish that you really want to catch, you don't ever hook them good. But the fish that you're like, oh, that was cool, you hook them perfectly. Let's just get her in the water. You keep moving that snook and I keep thinking it's just like hurting. <laughs> oh, she is excited. The water temp is like really, really nice right now. So these fish are so spunky. And you know, it's really awesome to see how healthy they are because a lot of the areas here in Southeast Florida, the water quality hasn't been the best. A lot of the fisheries have been hit pretty hard, but it's nice to see healthy, healthy fish of all shapes and sizes. You know, I caught a little a healthy little dink this morning. We got this fish about 26. Um, Bruno caught like a 33 and they've been catching, you know, 36s, 37s up to 40 inch fish lately. So just awesome. Oh, look, so she likes me now. She's been hanging out. Ready to go? Woo. Let's sick. go. The combo that I'm fishing today, for, especially for the bigger mullet, Ocean's Legacy Focal, the Dual Combat. It's a 7.6, this is the PE4. So this is kind of like the do-it-all rod that they make in the Focal line. You guys saw me using the 7.10 PE6 on the beach for tarpon over the summer, but that rod's just a little bit too stiff for a lot of things that I like to do. So I swapped over to this guy for some general use stuff. Got it with the Saltiga 10K, you guys have seen the review on that. 50 pound braid, 60 pound Yozeri fluorocarbon, and then a 6.0 Mewtwo light circle hook. And that's pretty much, uh, you know, our big mullet rig. Wor working great so far. I haven't got my butt completely kicked yet, but uh, the day is still young. So who knows, maybe we will get our butt kicked. So like I was saying, we've been seeing a lot of really big jacks blow up mullet. You just, by the time you throw your mullet over to them, they're already gone, they swim in so fast. But just tied on a big old Yozuri pencil popper. This is like an eight and a half, nine inch bait. Should be around the size of the mullet that they're eating. So I'm gonna try and get it in front of them when they blow up and start chewing again. This would be really sick to get one on top water. Go, go a little angle, a little we Just angle. had a giant blow up on our mullet. Missed it twice. Tried your life. Oh my God, that was on Aaron. Got him. Dude, let's go. Oh my God, we got it. Oh, I'm getting blown up too. Oh, I'm getting blown up too. Go, 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 go. Look at this rod bend. Oh my God, dude, he was right there. Oh my God, dude. On the slammer. Oh my God, I wasn't even looking and I just heard a splash. It's going so hard. Oh my God. Doubled up, dude. On the popper, dude. I'm loosening up. Where are we at? I don't know, but let's just just grind them in. And you're you're right. I'm left. Uh, mine's not very big. Mine's big. <laughs> what a big blow up though, dude. Dude, insane. <laughs> that was sick. Yeah. 
Durst was absolutely massive. These guys came in for the scraps. Get him in. 10, 15 pound jack all day. On the freaking popper. Oh, yours is bigger. Is it? Yeah, he's bigger. Yours On the freaking popper. Man, I lost the 40s in Yeah, yours is bigger. Oh, yours is much bigger than Aaron's. Stop. It is bigger. Here, double Look at that. On the popper. I didn't get a picture of you guys. That was a cute little scream you just did there. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Dude, look at this, guys. Look at this. Not huge. 10, 10, 12 pounder. Ryan's got probably a bigger one. Maybe 15, 20. Look at these poppers we were throwing. We made it happen. Just I'm, absolutely crushed the popper. I'm going to take it out of his mouth I'm so I don't get it out. Too, that is asking for trouble. Well, yeah, don't be afraid to throw big baits because that jack just crushed an 8 inch freaking plug. Man, that's sick, dude. That was so sick. So Bruno literally had a mullet off the front of the boat. We saw the biggest blow up of our lives, like 10 feet off the boat. Uh, definitely a bigger jack than these two. Aaron and I both threw our top waters Shit, over man. and both hooked up to nice fish. Definitely not like that probably 30 pound class yeah, jack. Bruno's would have ate ours. But still, <laughs> fun to see him blow up on top water over and over again. Awesome. Just absolutely stoked. Shooting. Go ahead, buddy. Three. We'll let this guy go. Let him grow to an absolute donkey. Oh, sorry, Bruno. <laughs> a super, super fun day of fishing. Top water blow ups, mullet getting blown up. Caught a bunch of fish overall. Check out Aaron's channel. I have it linked in the description below. He does a bunch of fishing like this almost every day. So he's super knowledgeable on how to catch big snook and big jacks in the river, just like we did today. I need you guys to do me a huge favor and check out this video right here and I'll see y'all over there.